lecture number six in this course selenium web driver in java in this lecture you will learn how to do some basic browser automation like maximizing the window resizing the window navigating forward and backward in the browser getting the page title getting the page source that is current page source and current page title so let us uh, start with the automation itself i'll switch to intellij and over there i'm going to create one package called as basic automation give the name of package and over there i'm going to copy one previous program that we are created that is launch chrome i'm going to rename it to test basic operations and as you can see this class is created and this packages or the classes are also imported that is what i want and i'm gonna execute this program on the chrome so what we are doing is uh, you already know that uh, from the previous chapter how to launch the chrome all we are going to do is just extend this program a little bit so after launching the web driver or the browser what i want to do is i want to maximize this so to maximize the browser what you have to do is is this command called as driver dot maximize you have to use driver dot manage dot window dot maximize so this will maximize the browser window now another thing that i wanted to show you is that how to resize the window for example let us say you want to resize this window then resizing the window again you have to use this syntax window dot and the method name that you use is set size and here you have to give the new dimensions here you need to give the x and y coordinates like uh, left left uh, x coordinate from the left side that is say 100 and y coordinate from the top side that is 100 so around over here that window will be resized so actually the width and height uh, we are specifying here is of that window becomes 100 100 so let us just increase it to 200 200 so that it will be feasible and what i'm gonna do is just put the slip statements over there because of you want to wait for that much amount of time so that it will be very easy so you have to use this thread dot slip there you have to specify the milliseconds and it is saying that an underlay exception so what we are going to do is use throws exception so since this particular statement uh, is got the checked exception what happens is you have to handle that exception or you can use this way to throw that exception to the top level class or the top level method so that is why this statement is required throws exception so what it will this command will do is it will wait for two seconds before executing the next statement so before uh, sizing the window to 200 200 it will just wait uh, two seconds and then it will resize this window now next thing that i wanted to show is navigating forward and backward so for that what you have to do is let us say you go to this website and then i am gonna click on one element or link so don't worry about this find element method we are going to cover that uh, method in detail in next chapters or the lectures so over there uh, you have to let us say you want to click on the link java and then you have to click on dot you have to use this dot click method 
to click on that one and once it is done what we are going to do is we are going to go back so for that what you have to do is use this method called as navigate dot backward so what it will do is it will come back to the home page and similarly if you want to go back to the uh, the page that you just opened you can use the dot forward method and another thing that i want to do so is how to get the page title and page source so what i'm going to do is get page title and page source for that this is the syntax so i'm gonna store it in the variable and then to print that i'm gonna use system.out.println though that s out is the shortcut for that so what you have to do is just type s out and then press tab and then here you can print page sources and similarly you can get the title of the page as well for that you have to do it like this instead of source i'm going to put title and here get title similarly you can get the current url as well So let us print the current URL as well over here. Let us run this program. So just before we execute this program, let me explain you what we have done so far over here. Is that we launched the browser, then maximize this using this maximize method. Then we waited for two seconds. Then we have resized the browser window to 200 pixel by 200. Then we have navigated to this URL softpost.org homepage. Then clicked on the link text java so first of all let me check if that website contains that link on the home page so that link is there over there so we have clicked on the java link and then this method get page source will get the you know, source of the page then it will get the title of the page and the url of the current page as well so let me just run this one as you can see the window is resized 200 pixel by 200 and i'm just gonna drag it manually now just to see that it is navigating to the java web page So as you can see it has opened this java web page and it is since it is open in the another window it has done all those operations so you can also notice that the page title is also it has printed and the page url is also it has printed and page source is also printed so note one thing that after clicking on this java link this uh, page title it is printing it is as on the title of the home page this is because even though we have clicked on this java link the driver is still on the home page because uh, if there are multiple windows you will have to switch to that window that thing we have we will be covering in the latter uh, lectures like how to switch to different windows or multi how to work with multiple windows but um, in this lecture just remember that to get the page source you have to use this command get page source and then to get the title you have to use this get title and to get the current url you have to use this method and to navigate back you can use this navigate dot back method and finally this close and quit is very important to close and quit the driver so that's how you can uh, do the basic browser automation we have done it for the window uh, in windows system and in the chrome browser but we can uh, do the same thing on other browsers as well all you have to do is just uh, launch the browser that specific browser which we have already seen in the previous lecture like how to launch internet explorer and once you launch the brow uh, browser rest of the methods are 
same that is the beauty of a selenium web driver write once and run on multiple browsers thanks for attending this lecture i hope you enjoyed this lecture and stay tuned for more lectures on the selenium web driver for the